Good day, everyone. I guess I should say good afternoon. Um, wanted to make you a little short video here, something I, I was going through this radio and uh, going through my, my usual routine on it and uh, started on this and just, I don't know, for some reason I thought, hey, this might be useful to somebody out there. So uh, make you a little video here and kind of show you what's what. Um, if I can get my camera to cooperate today, it may or it may not. You'll probably hear somebody talking in the background. It's my son. He's outside talking to a customer on the phone. Um, but anyway, um, this is, um, let's see if I can turn this up here. Uh, get to where you can kind of see. And I know you're not going to be able to see really well. But uh, anyway, here. This is this is our driver, um, and then our final goes here. Um, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing is I'm pulling the driver and the finals out, and they're both good. They both work. The radio keys up. The radio talks. Good modulation. Um, all that. But as part of my typical um, clean it up, go through it, do whatever it needs service that people sometimes ask for. This is one of the things that I do. Uh, let me scoot this radio back here a little bit. Um, I've already already done the driver, already completed it. But this is this is the final out of the radio. I want to. I don't know if I can. Yeah, it looks like it's going to focus for me. Believe it or not, um, this is uh, an original Mitsubishi 1969 final. Um, probably the one that came in the radio new I'm guessing um, but you can see on the back of it it um, the thermal paste if you wipe your finger across it it uh, is dry it's uh, it's dried up so Dry thermal paste is not doing any good for anybody. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up. Um, see if I can get this stuff to wipe off here. Get it clean up a little bit. The the two main points to this video was number one, I want you guys to realize how important the thermal paste is. Because these little guys generate heat, uh, whether it be the 1969, the 2166, um, especially the newer MOSFETs, generate a lot of heat. So this thermal compound, what it does is it um, it enables or it um, it helps this transistor to transfer heat from it through the um, let me find it here. Yes, sir. Through the insulator, which goes behind the final, or the driver, whichever the case may be, and also on audio chips, um, voltage regulators, that kind of thing. Pretty much anything that mounts to the the either the case of the mobile radio or this this shield or um, uh, whatever you want to call it. In a lot of the base radios, uh, but anything that mounts to that is going to have most likely an insulator, depending on which transistor it is. Going to have an insulator between it and whatever it mounts to. Um, you need thermal paste between the insulator and whatever it's mounting to. Insulator goes here. Th uh, thermal paste first. Insulator then thermal paste on the back of your transistor and then that to your insulator. And that enables this thing to transfer the heat from here to whatever is acting as a heat sink, which in this case, it's, it's this piece, this piece of aluminum. Um, so that's the first important thing. The second important thing is, let me get it here. Sorry to leave you guys there for hanging there for a minute. 
The other important thing is the amount of paste that you put on or that you apply. Um, I've got a little jar, a little tub, whatever you want to call it, a little spatula that I use to apply it with. I think this is actually out of a cell phone repair kit or some nonsense, I don't know. A little bit of that stuff out of there, um, like so. Set that down back there before I get it all over me, which I, I will eventually anyway. Now I've got to find my final. I laid it down. I don't see it, guys. Here it is. All right. You'll see in a lot of videos where people have this stuff in a tube or a syringe type thing, and they'll just squirt a big glob of it here on the back. No use in it. Absolutely no use. What's going to happen if you've got a big glob like that on there? When you put it in there and you mount it down and you tighten that screw up to hold it in place, every bit of that stuff right there is going to squish out both sides and you're going to have a nasty mess. So let's take that back off and let's just apply. We want to put just a thin coat. Just like so. And see if I can get this where you can. See, it's just a thin coat. Yeah, we got some in the hole. That's okay. That'll get on the threads of the screw when we put it back together and help even more. But anyway, with that on there, um, it will then, let me lay it down here and clean off my insulator because it's got it kind of globbed all over it too. We want to get that get that nastiness off of there. Get that and clean that up. And do that. And then this will actually let me get back in the camera field here, uh, field of view here. This will actually just go right on top of that. Give it a little mash. We'll kind of work it around. Get it seated good. Try to keep it straight. Don't do like I do. Try to keep it straight. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take, once I get this down here cleaned up, I'll take my little spatula and I'll come down here and just put a thin layer down here and then take that and just stick it to it. Put my screw in it. Snug it down good and snug. Resolder my legs on the bottom side, and it'll be good to go. Now, again, the reason for doing this, this is an old radio. The reason for doing this is because over time that stuff does dry out. And if it gets dry, then it's not, it's, it's not helping to transfer the heat like it should. So it's really nice when you have one, or if it's, you know, if it's your radio, of course, uh, I, I'm not making this for other technicians. If you're a technician, then you, know, you should know this anyway. But um, it's it's really nice to take those guys out, clean all that dried up goo out of there, and then put a fresh coat back on it and put it back in there, mount it back the way it's supposed to be. And it won't make your radio talk better. It won't make it produce more watts. What it will do is it will actually help this 1969, which is no longer made by Mitsubishi, uh, there are a couple of companies out there that do make replacements, uh, which work uh, work well. Uh, HG makes one, and I, right now I can't remember the other. Can't remember the other company that makes them. But anyway, there is a couple of companies reproducing those. But anyway, uh, if you still got the original 1969 and your radio then doing this is going to help to prolong the life of it because it's going to get the heat away from it. Heat will kill your radio. Um, you do you, you want to keep as much heat as, as possible out of your radio in certain areas, and this is one of the most important areas to keep heat out of, this and the PLL chip. Um, so that's why I do this for folks uh, that send me radios. It helps to prolong the life of their finals. Um, and uh, like I said, it won't make it talk any better, but it'll make it last longer. And it's just just part of the service. So anyway, thanks guys. I hope it was useful to somebody. And as always, 
Have a good one. Be the old Red Eagle. We out of here.